This is Mark Truly, president of the Institute on Religion and Democracy, doing an exit interview with our superlative uh, intern, Savannah Huseman of uh, Westmont uh, College, who has spent much of the summer here at the IRD and is going to tell us a little bit about her experiences here, hopefully as an inspiration to future aspiring interns at the IRD. So Savannah, mm -hmm. have you had a good time here at the IRD? I've had an excellent time here at the IRD. Uh, the Institute on Religion and Democracy has been very kind to me this summer. Um, it's really the amount of opportunities that it affords interns, specifically undergrad college students like myself, is just amazing. So you wouldn't be able to get the kind of experience going to events, hosting our own events, writing articles, doing research, um, in a Christian environment anywhere else mm -hmm. in Washington, D.C., and in the heart of it all. Now, uh, as a student at uh, Westmont College mm -hmm. and as a, a native, a fellow uh, Northern Virginian, mm -hmm. what uh, first brought your attention to the IRD and motivated you to want to uh, work here? Right, so really the, the entire spirit of IRD and particularly with Providence, which is what I interned with this summer, um, really hit home for me. Uh, the you and Mark uh, Levecki came and spoke at Westmont College on the just war theory on Christians in the military. And you were there and for I our was, presentation about there. Providence, a mm -hmm. journal of Christianity and American foreign policy. Yes, I was. And so as the daughter of a Navy officer, uh, growing up, moving around every two years and learning that in the Christian community, there's a growing sense that pacifism ought to be what we do. I was very confused and so what Providence did and what IRD did through Providence was basically give me a vocabulary, uh, a way to articulate my views uh, kind of with a more academic sense. So that way when I went and talked to people who disagreed with me, I would be able to be more informed and be able to show them that there is a way for the United States and for Christians in the military to, to interact and that there's a biblical way to do so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, attending uh, a distinguished uh, Christian college, uh, is there enough conversation there about uh, issues regarding uh, Christianity and politics, particularly foreign policy, or is there hmm. a big vacuum that needs to be filled? <laughs> well, uh, obviously as a political science major, I spent a lot more time than the average college student thinking about politics, thinking about policy. Um, but I will say though, in 2016, 2017, the, the emphasis was more on domestic policy with uh, the election going on. And so there wasn't a whole lot of thought going on about foreign policy, uh, which is where I'm drawn to, having lived in Paris for three years and Japan for a year or so. Um, I personally find it to be much more alluring and a little bit easier to understand than all of the messiness that is domestic policy. They're both interesting, but um, I did find that there there is a, a lack of understanding because people have not traveled because there's it seems more complicated to tackle than domestic issues and social issues. but. It is more trendy to be, you know, to have a stance on social issues on mm -hmm. college campuses. Sure. Than, than and uh, what have you learned here from your IRD experience, uh, oh, wow. politically uh, and or spiritually? Mm -hmm. um, I would say the the biggest takeaway from this year has definitely been spiritually. I mean, I've I, I like to joke that I came into work the most ignorant person in the office every every day and. Uh, but that was beautiful because I get to learn from smart people like yourself, from Joseph, from Mark Levecki, from Mark Melton, uh, from Jeff. Everybody in the office uh, is so smart and um, just in head knowledge, but also being so grounded in scripture, um, being able to glean from their knowledge and from their faith has been invaluable. So I definitely learned a lot about policy. I learned a lot about the issues affecting our world, about human rights, about injustice. Um, but mostly I learned how to deal with that from a Christian perspective and the faith that uh, you and others in the office really live in your everyday and day-to-day -day life um, is a much more profound testament to what IRD does in the broader community. Well, you're very uh, gracious to uh, say that. And of course, you were part of um, IRD's largest summer intern uh, team ever of mm -hmm. uh, eight incredible uh, interns. And so there was a great synergy here among all of you. Yes, it was very, it was very fun. A little boisterous. I felt bad. The fortunately, the interns uh, were all productive. Otherwise, the rest of the office kind of got swept up in our <laughs> debates. <laughs> but um, it was really fun. We all, uh, we all. I like to say that we all agree on ninety percent of the issues. But it's that 10% that's so fun to debate. 
And so when we would sit around fighting about the biblical, you know, context for feminism, uh, when we talked about gay rights, when we talked about various other issues within the church this summer, um, it was all coming from a, a background of we all genuinely want to learn from each other and understand a different perspective. Uh, and when we fight and we debate and we exchange back and forth, it's always in a spirit of of understanding, of empathy, and of, of trying to reach more knowledge. And so um, it was incredible. The, the, um, the minds, the mind power, the amount of knowledge concentrated into eight undergrad college students was incredible. Mm -hmm. So I just was blessed to be able to be in the room with them. And uh, final words. Uh what would you say to uh, college students who may be uh, viewing this video and pondering uh, applying to become an intern at the IRD uh, this year or next summer? I would say do it. <laughs> there is uh, There are very few other internships that offer as much hands-on experience, that offer as much uh, first-hand knowledge and such passionate and motivated people that will be willing to teach you. Uh, then at IRD. It's it's really, it's been an incredible summer, great three months that I've spent here in uh, in DC and I wouldn't have spent it any other way. Well, it's uh, bittersweet for us here at the IRD as we approach the final minutes of uh, Savannah's uh, summer internship with us. She is the last of our summer class, uh, but we know we'll be hearing uh, much more from her and about her in the future. And we know that uh, there are many uh, more extraordinary interns who will be uh, joining us uh, this fall and uh, next year, and maybe you will be among them. So uh, thank you for listening. Bye-bye.